हेलो गाइस सभी का स्वागत है देशी शो से वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल सो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी केम अप विथ एक्स आर स्ट्रिंग्स टू क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज द वन मंथ प्रिपरेशन किट प्रॉब्लम बट इन दिस क्वेश्चन इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग द कोड वी नीड टू डिबक द एग्जिस्टिंग कोड सो देर इज सम एरर्स प्रेजेंट लॉजिकल एरर्स एंड द सिंटेक्स एरर्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द कोड वी हैव टू डिबक द कोड एंड मेक श्योर इट शुड successfully execute the test uh, cases all the hidden test cases and the public public test cases so let's see surya will explain the uh, solution and uh, let's see yeah okay uh, hello i am surya we are now discussing the interesting to problem in this challenge we have to debug the code and we have to make that uh, all test cases are valid so what is the we are given two strings which consists of zero sign one that means the two strings will consist of zero sign ones we have to find the xor of two strings xor is nothing but exclusive or which is nothing but uh, a mathematical operator for uh, uh, for manipulating bits we have to debug the function strings xor that is given to us strings xor we have to debug this you can modify at least uh, at most three lines in the given code that means we have to modify at most three lines and uh, we don't need to add any other lines or we don't need to remove any other lines that is not it is saying mm, again what uh, they have given is input format input format is to uh, input contains first string s s is nothing but a string and second the input is the constraint t so we are given two inputs s and string s and t both are strings only that is what he is saying next our constraints are size of uh, strings vary from 1 to 10 power 4 and size of s string is equal to size of t string that means if uh, size of s string is 1 then size of t string will be 2 uh, 1 and if size of s string will be 1000 then uh, size of t string will also be 1000 print the string obtained by the xor of the two inputs in the single line so that printing part will be taken care by this uh, main method we have to return only so here the sample input is this one and A sample input is s is one zero one zero one and t is zero zero one zero one. So our output is one followed by four zeros. So we can we can uh, understand this as so here we had one in s and we have one in t. So one exclusive or one. if we have both bits as same let me write some comments if we have same bits in both characters of strings then our result is zero else else uh, else that means we have different bits in both characters of strings then our answer will be 1 this is the main point of uh, exclusive or so we can see here that so for one here we had one so one exclusive or one which is nothing but so uh, one exclusive or one which is zero because we have both characters are same that means both bits are same so it is zero and next zero and zero since both bits are same so our answer will be zero again again one and one again both bits are same so here our bit answer will be zero 
again 0 and 0 again since both are same here is 0 here 1 and 0 since anyone is different we will get it get it as 1 so what we can do is we can uh, write a for loop and we can iterate through each character in s string and each character in t string and we can compare these both characters if the both characters are same what we have to do is we have to uh, we have to output uh, what we have to do is we have to append character one if both both characters are same we have to append zero otherwise we have to append one that is what he is doing only. so when he is checking that when both characters are same we have to append zero else one but here he have given some mistakes so what is that is we have to check he is assigning here it's single equal to operator he is assigning so what we have to do is we have to make it as double equal to operator in order to check so this condition is correct again our answer is nothing but a string of same length as that of s or t so what we have to do is these generated results we have to append so our uh, results are 0 0 0 0 0 and then 1 so by appending this we will get this string so here he, he has forgotten this appending so what we can do is we can append at last here also he has missed that so we can append at last so when both characters are same what we are doing is we are we are appending zero if both characters are not same we are appending one this is the thing and it should pass the test cases let me run the code okay mm. Mm. Your output expected both are same only, right? I think we don't need to write these comments. Let me remove them as well. Uh, yes, we don't we. We don't need to write this uh, extra lens that is what he said okay let's submit the code as you can see that it is passing all the test cases and this is the solution for the debug uh, debugging problem of exert strings to question thank you so guys hope you like the video uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, in next video, we'll come up with another solution soon. So make sure to subscribe that uh, subscribe and hit the like button. So milte next video. Bye bye.